Soleil tied his man up. Held in near side by Ruck. Ruck, the young rookie who came to the playoffs late for the Devils, but has played physically big. Friesen, Ruck picks it up. Trying to go back to the point. Did. White shot. Blocked by Niedemeyer. Scott Niedemeyer. Scott! Hi, I'm Mike Rupp from the 2003 Stanley Cup champion, New Jersey Devils. This is the rest of my story, how God has impacted my life. It's a relationship that I hope all of you can experience. If you have any questions about your walk with God, or just any questions about God in general, please contact me at MikeRupp at TeamJam.org. Growing up, I'd, all I ever wanted to be was a professional hockey player. I mean, I, my mom shows me papers now. Uh, she actually showed me one not too long ago of uh, in school what you want to be when you grow up and uh, you know I wrote uh, this is like kindergarten or first grade I'm going to put I want to be a professional hockey player so um, you know that's been my my eyes have been set on that since I was when I was young so um, anyways after my junior year at high school I uh, went on to play in uh, the Ontario Hockey League for um, a couple of years but after my first year um, I was drafted to the NHL, and I feel that, and, and let me let you guys know, I was brought up, I always knew who God was. I knew, you know, God created all things, and if I wanted to go to heaven, uh, I had to believe in God. But I never knew, knew God. You know, I didn't know, I didn't have a relationship with Him. And, you know, I, I didn't know that I needed that. Everything was going good. I'm just, you know, a kid playing hockey. What, everything's great. So, uh, you know, um, I, and I think that the the Lord was trying to trying to wake me up, and He's throwing little things out there like, "Hey, you know, this is how awesome I can be. This, these are some of the things you can achieve through me." So uh, after my first year playing on Terror Hockey League, I really uh, wasn't supposed to be drafted where I got drafted. And out of the blue, we're at the draft, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm expecting a good hour or so to go by before I'm drafted. And right away, boom, say my name. I'm like, "Whoa!" So I stand up like. You know, and, and, and these things are just, you know, I think that he was, this is, you know, I, I got out of it that the Lord is uh, throwing me little wake-up calls here and there. So I got drafted, um, you know, and, and I guess I, after getting drafted, I let it go to my head a little bit, and I uh, wasn't living the life that he, he wanted me to live. So uh, um, things didn't work out. I didn't sign with the New York Islanders who I was drafted by, and I went back in the draft. Uh, I was drafted by the New Jersey Devils, um, and it was kind of a you know a second shot to to prove to a team what I can do. And uh, um, you know I kind of had an up and down year my first year, and um, the most important thing happened to me uh, you know that year is that um, I found the Lord. And uh, and the best thing about it is. And when you're growing up and all you want to be is a professional hockey player, you know, I was, uh, I'm getting married, I was getting married at the time, and, you know, we had plans for a family. You need to support the family, you know, financially. And if I'm not cutting it at the rink, in my head, I'm like, what am I going to do? You know, I, and I, I had some responsibility, and at a young age, and I was, I didn't know what I was going to do. So um, when, I, when I found the Lord and, and, and asked Him to take, my, take over in my life and just, guide me and, and, and lead me in all that I do. I mean, these concerns kind of, don't get me wrong, they, you know, you have, you have battles that you need to battle with, but they kind of are obsolete because I know that he's going to take care of me. I, I have no, nothing to worry about. I mean, he's going to provide. He always has. And uh, I'm just going to live for him and, and try to reflect his light in, in all that I do. And uh, I had a 20-game stretch where I was playing really good hockey in Albany, and my birthday comes. And uh, after one of the games... I played pretty well. The coach calls me in the locker room in Albany. It's um, two days before my birthday in January, and he goes, um, Mike, sit down. And I'm like, well, what's going on? Like, am I traded? Like, what's, am I going to get sent down to another league? I'm, I don't know what's going on. I thought I was playing good. And he goes, um, you need to go to uh, New Jersey tonight, and you're going to be playing tomorrow night for New Jersey Devils. And I was just, well, I didn't know what to do. I mean, this coach, this coach is like, a tough coach, you know, one of those, like, he's like a football coach, he's like, you know, one of those guys that would grab your mask and, yeah, before games and hit you and stuff like that, and I got up, and I went over and I hugged him, and I was just like, yeah, I, 
I love you, man. You know, I was just pumped. You know, I was just like, and, 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 and all, I, all, all we could do is just, and that's God's work. I mean, and so my first game's on my birthday. And so that was kind of like, that's a neat thing, you know. That's something I'll always remember. It's the best birthday I ever had. And uh, so I go to the game. And same thing, I, I was praying to God that I would be just calm and make wise decisions and just not play for me, not play for because I need to make money to support my family. Just, just play for God. I think, he, you know, he has a plan for me in hockey, and, and that's what I was asking him. Just use me and just leave me to just be calm and just have fun out there. And so I go out my first game, and one of my first shifts, there's a shot from a defenseman, and I hit it down out of the air, and it goes in. And I'm like, yeah! And everyone's like, yeah! And I look over, and the referee's going. I'm like, what? I'm like, what, do you, what do you mean, no? I haven't scored my first NHL goal in my first game. Like, what else can you want? You know, like, that's what's going through my head. And they re review it upstairs, no goal. I'm like, oh. So, but it was, it was, it was comical. Like, and to me, I was just sitting there on the ice, I'm laughing, and I'm just like praying in my head between whistles. I'm like, man, you got me. I'm like, but you got something else in store. I know you do. I'm like, you know, I, I, you just, I just had that feeling. So going through the game later, got two goals that game in, on my birthday. Two goals that counted, I mean, and I had the one that wasn't counted. So, um, you know, I was just like, wow. I went from struggling in the American League, thinking about, I was looking up, I was doing some research on uh, taking a firefighting class and trying to be a firefighter. I really was, I was talking, they have a program set up through the league and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a firefighter, I think. So, um, you know, things, things that worked out on my birthday and I was up for 26 games with the Devils and uh, I was like, we got a good shot of winning the cup this year and I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm part of it. I'm like, that's unbelievable. I never thought I'd be in this position. And uh, before the playoffs, I was left off their playoff roster and uh, sent down to Albany for the last three games of the season just to, just to play out. And uh, so I played those games and I, they call us back to Jersey and there's a group of five of us that aren't even practicing with the team. You know, they're getting ready for the playoffs. It's exciting time. I felt like I contributed. You know, I played a third of the season with them and then I, I you know, I just felt like you know, I was bitter. I, I felt like I deserved a little bit more than that, but um, we were um, skating. We weren't even allowed to see the team. We had to, they would call us like 20 minutes before practice and say, get over here, get over here, get over here. We get over there and after practice, get out, get out, they're coming, they're coming. Like, like we're gonna run and take their knees out or something so we can play, you know? So we're just like, you know, they don't want us to be, be around them. And, 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 and you know what, I think it's a great idea because some guys who aren't playing have different mindsets, you know, they're talking about golfing and going golf and stuff. So that's a great idea. But when you're in that situation, you're thinking, like, I can't believe they're treating me like this, you know? And so we're skating every day, you know, to skate until you almost throw up and working out. And there's just five of us, we only have one goalie. And it's just, um, it was tough and you know, I needed, I never would have made it through without talking to the Lord and him guiding me through it. I mean, all this time when I was thinking about quitting, he's the one that picks me up. Every time I get knocked down or get, you know, he's the one that picks me up and um, does these amazing things. So um, this whole time, I'm just like, I just want to go home. I'm like, I'm not going to play. There's four guys. There's like four guys that need to get hurt before I play in the playoffs. I and mean, what's the chances of that? You know, I mean, so. I'm just, all of us are just bummed out. So right before the finals start, they go, hey, well, well I'm sorry, while we were training, um, I had this feeling like, some days I just like, I, don't, I woke up, I don't wanna train today. What for? What am I gonna train? So I, for summertime, you know, like what am I training for? You know, and uh, something was just telling me, work hard, you gotta be in shape, be ready, be ready. So. I, I just had this feeling, I was like, God, just prepare me for what you have in plan, you know, just lead me to be prepared um, for, for what you have in store for me. And I was working hard, working hard, and so they tell us that I was gonna be traveling with the team in the finals, and that was huge. Like, I was just like, I'm gonna be traveling with them. I could just even sit on the plane when they win these games in the Stanley Cup, and I'm like, it's awesome. So, things are going on. I didn't play a game in two months. I'm practicing by myself. Um, you know, the team just lost game three, and the coach comes to me before game four and goes, you ready? I'm like, am I ready? Of course, I said, yeah, you know, I'm ready, but I mean, I'm kind of like, 
I haven't played a game in two months in hockey. You guys know it's a game of timing. Like when you guys first put your skates on in training, or not training camp, but you know before before the season starts, like you take summer off, and then you start playing. You feel like you never played hockey before. You know you're tripping and. You know, you can't stick handle and you just, you feel awful. And, but, you know, it takes a little time, but I don't have time. He told me two hours before game four of the Stanley Cup finals, hey, you're ready, are you ready to play? I'm like, yeah, like, sure. And so I go in and, you know, I'm feeling good. And this whole time I played in the playoffs, I had this, I've never been so calm in my life, joking around before the games. I mean, I am far more nervous right now than I was in any of those games. And uh, just so calm and like, I don't know, it's just, it was God's work, it wasn't me. And uh, so I, I, I had a strong couple games, and so before game seven, I wake up in the morning, I just had the weirdest feeling of awe, it's just like, I know something great's gonna happen today. And I just said, Lord, just, use, just have something great happen, and just use me um, to, re, you know, to reflect that onto you, because it's, it's your work. And uh, so we go out for game seven, and, you know, I was more relaxed in that game than I've been in any game in my life. And that's unbelievable because I usually am a nervous wreck. So um, we go out in the game and, you know, obviously we won. And, uh, you know, I got three points. I haven't had three points in a, a game and maybe once in like five years. I had three points in that game. Our line was just, just did really well in that game. And, uh, you know, I, Afterwards, it's just like, you know, I, you want to break down in tears. I mean, tears of joy. Like, what is, I mean, it is absolutely amazing what the Lord can do when you accept him as your personal Savior and, and turn your life over to him, and he's going to use it in ways you can never even imagine. So, you know, right now, I'm riding a high. You guys have given me this boost right now from this week, and, you know, I'm ready just to, the Lord's got something in store for me this year, I think, and in the same situation. If it's not hockey, I'm going to be fine. I have no, nothing to worry about, but I think he has something in hockey, and, and he, he wants me to, um, to play for him and to uh, and just have fun. So I, I think that it's, you know, that's, that's been a huge thing in my life. You know, it's been up and down. It's been, you know, trying to make it to your dream, and... Uh, you know, I by no means would, I'd be uh, at the fire station right now if it wasn't for the Lord, so.